got some ground snakes. All right guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are walking out just to enjoy the afternoon. See what, whatever we can find, whether that's mammals, snakes, whatever, but the jewel up here is the ground snake. Super pretty snakes that we're excited to see. Um, so we're gonna see what we can do, but ultimately there's a lot of cool stuff we can see up here. We're gonna see what we can find. We're just walking around, flipping rocks to see some ground snakes. Or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. Whatever ground we, snakes would be cool for this area. They would be cool. I will admittedly say it is very exciting to be looking for these animals. And it's hard not to get too distracted and flip rocks and put them back where they were. So if you can't flip them, they're too big. Or you feel like you're not going to be able to put them back how they were, just skip the rock. As painful as it is sometimes, you just gotta skip the rock. One, do not flip rocks. Rocks that are too big for you to handle. One, you risk dropping it on the snake. Or two, you can't place it back the way you want. Another very important thing, as soon as you flip it and place it down, you want to pack that moisture seal back around it so that any passing snake or animal that's going to use that will be able to and use it effectively like it's meant to. Because if you displace that rock too much, then you're um, gonna ruin your opportunity at ever seeing snakes in that area again. And two, you're gonna mess up the snake's behaviors and I did not get it on video, but we did it. We got some ground snakes. Look at these little dudes. Really cool little ground snakes. This is exactly what we were looking for. And to get two under one rock like that, that is just really cool. And you can see why they're one of my favorites. They're just stunning. Pretty, 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 pretty orange. And Arizona's got all sorts of different phases of these guys. Yeah, what a cool, cool deal, way cool. So these guys are fossorial snakes, meaning these guys these are just these teeny little ground-dwelling snakes. And these guys, unlike your bigger snakes, like the rattlesnakes or rat snakes that are eating big rodents, these guys are primarily eating little insects that you can find on plants, under rocks. They'll occasionally eat some termites and some crickets. These guys will absolutely devour crickets, which is super cool. And uh, this phase is one of my favorites in this locality in particular is known for these um, orange colored. And this one right here is actually got more yellow on him than I'm used to. I'm more used to them being this really bright orange, but that one's kind of striped right there. The one that Todd's got in his hand. Really cool. I love these guys. They do super well in urban areas as well. Um, you can find these guys in your pool box, underneath your um, tiles out here in Phoenix. You can find them just about anywhere. As soon as construction happens, since these guys are fossorials and they spend a lot of their time underground, usually if they're lucky and construction goes right over them, they just pop right back out of the ground and they start living in those urban areas. So they're very successful. Obviously that's no excuse for construction, but these are the exception of a snake that they do okay finally yeah here's todd with the bundles of joy <laughs> <laughs> well, next to my shirt it says yes. i have a reptile dysfunction <laughs> <laughs> just different enough oh man all right got thing one and thing two and we are ready to put them right back where they were push dirt along the edge make sure it's got a good moisture seal still i put my finger knowing that there's nothing else under there it's gonna hurt me put my finger in there and kind of make a little area that's open now so when I release them I can put them just like this there goes the first one instantly gone and then our second one will shortly after follow and then as soon as I'm done there because this was totally sealed when I flipped it I just push in a little bit of dirt there nothing super tight just to cover any breeze that's gonna be blown in there you know get it nice and settled in there and right back how they were. Total random fact to people that have heard of jumping choya or a jumping cactus. They don't actually jump out at you. When I was little, I totally thought they did. So I was terrified every time I walked by them. Watch this. See how they just fall off like that? Like it's really hard and they just stick. The reason they stick is because if you got super, super close, like microscopic, they're hooked. Each barb is hooked. So when they 
regret when they stab into you. It's not just a smooth pull out like a blade would be. Since they're barbed, it grabs into your skin like the shape of a hook. And the benefit to that is these are direct cactuses. So when they fall off, they'll grow roots right at the base, just like that. So they'll tumble down mountains, stick onto animals and fall off just like that. And if they're successful and flip the right way, they'll root right there and they sprout. They don't jump out at you, they just fall. And you think, stop hurting the cactus, but in reality, that's the way, that's, they... That's the way they are meant to be. They just fall right off and will plant right into the ground. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We had a good short outing. Sun's going down, but it wasn't anything crazy, but it was fantastic. So that is what we love. Even the smallest moments is why we come out here and do this stuff. So we'll see you next time. Peace out.